distinct vibes that this is an area where you actually no I rescind that statement because I have absolutely no clue where we are I believe Vasco I have found our salvation seems to be some sort of info kiosk Welcome to New Atlantis. Hello. Welcome to the city of New Atlantis, capital of the United Colonies, and for many, the settled systems as a whole. You stand now in the most technologically advanced city the human race has ever conceived and constructed. New Atlantis was founded in the year 2156, the same year we first arrived in the Alpha Centauri star system. If you're a resident, then you're familiar with our fantastic home. And if you're a visitor, you are an honored guest of the United Colonies and will be treated as such. Our courteous and professional security personnel can be found all over the city, and it's their job to ensure your time in New Atlantis is joyful, lawful, and productive. So, as you stroll the streets, or take the Nat train to the city's different districts, know that you are in the embrace of the United Colonies and couldn't be in better hands. Okay, our shared history. We are the children of Earth. The United Colonies, as an entity, was first established in the year 2159 on the planet Earth as a means of unifying the human race as we spread amongst the stars. Our goal was the peaceful exploration and colonization of space, working in harmony with anyone who wished to sail forth across the blackest sea to new horizons. In 2161, we issued the Centaurus Proclamation, which formalized the colonization of distant worlds for anyone who wished to do so. Unfortunately, not everyone shared in our dream. When wars erupted across the settled systems, United Colonies stood steadfast, protecting humans and their right to fairly colonize. And then, when our beloved homeworld was rendered uninhabitable, uninhabitable in the year 2203, the United Colonies knew it had a sacred responsibility. We were to be the keepers of Earth, its artifacts, its ideals, its cultures, its very people. So while you stand now on the planet Jemison in the city of New Atlantis in the Alpha Centauri star system, know that for all intents and purposes, you are still very much on Earth, and Earth takes care of its own. Corporate Directory, this is actually probably the most useful thing in this kiosk at the present moment. Here in New Atlantis, a citizen or visitor can find just about any service they may need, from freshly brewed coffee, tasted, pretty delectable, would get it again, to complete body reconstruction. Oh, freshly brewed coffee, to com wow, they've got like plastic surgery here. I don't know why I'm surprised you travel space. We have it all. The following is a list of corporations and businesses that have been found that have found a home in New Atlantis district shown or district locations indicated in parentheses. Terra Brew Coffee Spaceport Commercial. Jemison Mercantile Spaceport, the Viewport Tavern. So it's more of a tavern, I guess. Spaceport, Centurion Arsenals, Residential, Reliant Medical, Residential, Enhanced, Chunks, and CJs, wait, Enhanced Commercial, and Chunks, and CJs are Residential. Weird. EIT Clothier, Residential, Outland Commercial, Jake's the Well, Apex Electronics the Well. Didn't answer my question. Other buildings and services. Actually, this is probably what I'm looking for. Here in New Atlantis, you'll find a variety of buildings that provide various functions and services. They include Gal Bank, SSNN, the Trade Authority, Sanctum Universum Church, 
Not particularly interesting to me. House of Enlightenment. Free Star Collective Embassy? No. House Veiru? No. Infinity Limited Corporate Headquarters? Medbay UC Surplus. What about... It's impossible to visit New Atlantis and not notice the imposing structure that is massed. Much more than a building, massed also serves at, as the very foundation of the United Colonies. There, the military, administrative, and scientific triumvirate works tirelessly to ensure continuing peace and prosperity for everyone under the UC's protection. Now, oh, I already looked there. Citizenship. I just wanted some info on where in the bloody world I needed to go. Uh, oh. We shall not utter this to anyone else. Do your audio receptors understand me? I will take your silence as a scent. We just have to go to the master district. And my chrono watch told me that. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free yes. transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Are you saying you could have told me? Precisely where to go to find constellation. But let me wander, we're kind of aimlessly, the city. And you withheld that info. I respect that. It's kind of funny. Just says scoundrel, followed by a lot of expletives. Look, whatever trouble you're bound to cause, do it somewhere else. Those are unsubstantiated. I'll have you know. We need to go to the Mast District. Don't mind what you heard about me there, Vasco. It is libelous. Slanderous. Not at all. Accurate. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. No, probably not. Um, okay. Right. What have we here? SSNN. -N. Is this any new info here? Then a United Colonies citizen. As a citizen, you will carry a status unequaled in the settled systems and will be recognized as the truly special individual you are. Whether you make your home in New Atlantis, Cydonia, or any other officially recognized settlement, citizenship is the truest badge of loyalty and dedication to the United Colonies you can possess. I get the following privileges. Exclusive and personalized acknowledgement of your status. Eh, that's whatever. A welcome letter signed by none other than the President Alexandra Abello. Discounts at ooh yeah. Exclusive access to home ownership in You know, 
suddenly, citizenship isn't looking all that bad. Bad news for the League of Independent Settlers, or List. Oh. A prospective colonist family used List resources to find a new home, a remote moon filled with life and okay. ideal for farming. The only problem is that. Mildly lost my interest. We've got fine constellation. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies hmm. on advanced Notice. hydroelectrics for most of its power. I noticed. Very regal. Hello, citizen. However, we need to go. Hmm, yes. It's peaceful. I like it. And plenty of greenery. Residential? I don't think residential is where we need to go. I'm assuming that our location, at least based on the GPS markers from my watch, indicate this way. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. I find that interesting. Like, why be independent? Does I don't know, just here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. That's wonderful. You are bloody slow. Okay, so I just. Alright. Oh. That was Captain Francis. Easier than Everyone expected. will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. Yes, that does sound about right. Is that? Yes. My space history is a bit rusty, but I think that's Neil Armstrong and maybe Yuri? Good Karen. Again, maybe. I don't know for certain. Apollo. This is. Not, not my normal aesthetic. I like it though. Hello. I hope I'm not intruding on anything. We appear to have a visitor. Hello. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Um, yeah. Um, to make a long story short, pirates attacked and he asked me to deliver the artifact. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Ugh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted okay. on installing those emergency protocols, I don't take I guarantee you this rock breaker here any. would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. I didn't take offense to the first Thank part. You, the second Mateo. part maybe a little bit. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? Yes. What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? 
Yes and yes, and that was me. Um, yeah, I saw like lights and music, and I heard like music or something. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. He does have a flair for the dr drama, Are doesn't you he? This? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, country. Oh, you've. Expect us to believe in this is number this three. Is the greatest mystery in the universe. Why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please? What's he focus? talking about? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Uh, I'm right. gonna back up. Please. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Okay. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have. The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Is this safe? I'm trusting you for that I'm not gonna get like blown to bits or like something bad's gonna happen. That's it. Just like the others. I'm just, gonna, just gonna stand over here. We thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god. It's moving. That's it. They're reacting. Vasco, Look get between me and together. it. That energy that's arcing between them, You're no supposed to protect me. Can do that. None of them. No. Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. What's it doing? Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Country? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, no one seems it concerned. Be exciting. Now, would it? it's safe. Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? Hi. <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours. Um. So you. What are these things? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Intriguing. Okay. So you, it's, you seem to be offering me some part of constellation. What does that mean and what is expected of me? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Oh. So there's... Flexibility. And I'm intrigued. And so far, you haven't tried to kill me. I am... I'm in. What do we do? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Okay. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Ah. Get your feet wet. I like it. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Oh. Hmm? You'll need How it out in the field anyway. Storage capacity. Just mind your head. Ooh, 8,000 credits! I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Um, yeah. I'm also very satisfied with the payment I just got. 8,000 credits. Holy crap. That's just for one. Okay, okay, okay. I'm more and more happy with my decision. Uh, it was Noel, right? As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. Yes. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. A little spooky. 
Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. Uh, that's a description. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. That's more apt. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Of course. Um, you seem to know a lot about these things. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Okay. Um, what other kind of stuff do you do besides tracking down these artifacts? Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific Ooh. we're looking for. A type of okay. alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. I like the sound of that. What's the policy on acquisition of materials? You do not seem to be against, which is good. So when I picked up this thing, artifact as you call it, I saw a vision. It sounds like Barrett did. What do you think that was? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. Barrett saw something too, is what I've understood and what he told me. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. He seems to be a mischief maker. I mean, so I mean, it seems fairly reasonable. Like, it's a very apparent it has some sort of magnetic thing going on. And, like, that's gotta mess with the electrical impulses or something. There might be a reasonable explanation. I wasn't there. I didn't see what you saw. I don't know. I'm just not in a position to say for sure. That's fair. I'm that's okay. Curious. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. Yeah, it did We're knock me out for a bit. all in this together now, right? Yes. Right, right, right. Uh, righty. How long have you been all working on this? Well, Constellation's been around forever. More than 50 years now. It's not really forever. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago oh, right wow. under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. Okay. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Well, he... His choices led him to where he is now. I may or may not know a thing or two about those. Not his choices, but choices having consequences. Yeah, whatever. Everything all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let me know how I can help. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know okay. if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of... If you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Good to know. Squishy stuff. Give it to you. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. There we Pretty go. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. I like how you volunteer him to be the uh, the payment. Um, Sarah also mentioned something about a place to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. That's the plan. I think we can find a spot for you. Yes. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. I love it. So you've seen the library. Obviously. My wife and yes. I have something. Walter is quite proud of the collection. I have been but Matteo has made more than a few I contributions. Am. Gardens are out the doors there yes. if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. 
Emphasis on the quiet part. At least it usually. has been determined that let's head upstairs. Oh, there I see. Yeah, yeah. Sebastian Banks, I'm Constellations founder, had this place built decades ago. All right. It was a big to do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. So we're like under the radar. Even better. Less eyes on me. Hmm. I oh well, I. This is a really charming place. Oh. Nice. A little recreational area. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. Yes. It's been nice having the place so full. So, how many of us are there? I wonder. It's a weird skull. A lot of books. A lot of wood. That's got to be expensive. Maybe? I don't know. It's just that every place I've ever been is very metallic and rocky. I'm not used to all this. Yes. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, oh. so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! That is fair. Thank you, Noel. I appreciate your time. This is... Moby Dick. Okay, okay, okay. Great expectations. I am going to like it here. Storage even better. Yes. Can put stuff here. Right, let's check in. So it's upstairs. Across from this ship model. Okay. Good to know, everyone. This way leads us back to the library. Okay. Then downstairs. I am at your service, Captain. Yes, you can hold vigil or stand guard or something there. Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. You are Walter. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. It's understandable. When's the last time I've you had to see much water? worse leveled at me? I haven't gone up there recently. Still doesn't excuse it. My oh, frustrations I respect lie that. more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. I get that Not sense. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter sure. Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Francis. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Uh, I'm Francis. Uh, former rock breaker, future explorer of the cosmos, and individual of allegedly questionable decision making. Emphasis on the alleged. Happy to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment, spacesuit customization. Pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even hmm. fashion industrial pieces okay. for large scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm that a fan a of self reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Of course. I gotta be honest. Not exactly what I was expecting from for a CEO. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, 
It doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Fair. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Perfect. <clears throat> I'm not getting any younger here. Calm down. Uh, what is your precise role here? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Yeah. Someone has to fund That's all fair. this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I like you. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. No one's strengths. And as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. I'm actually kind of excited. What do you think the vision that I and Barrett had mean, if anything? Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. It did seem that way. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Uh... Um... Well, let's just say I am not prone to it. I didn't take any blows to the head recently. That would have caused that. Not exactly, no. But I suppose it doesn't matter. You saw something. Barrett saw something. That's an unlikely coincidence. Yes. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. I'd agree. I'd agree to that. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Well, uh, last before I let you go, what kind of company is Stroud Eklund? We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best there you can is. afford that's it. What I've Okay. You choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure chatting with you. Remember... You're representing all of us out there. No pressure. Stolen any sacred relics recently? You really aren't going to let it go, are you? I'm so busy with our work here that I don't think about it much these days. Right, sure. You're telling me you haven't been on the lookout at all? All right. There's a chance that a 15th century edition of Aquinas Summa Theologica is out there. I've been asking a few questions in my spare time. Maybe this one will turn out better than the last time, huh? Bet you never expected to end up involved well, in something like this. Well, I suppose that station in orbit has more than no. paid for itself. No, you and I point. need to have a chat. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Mateo. Theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Thank you. I appreciate your concern. These artifacts, have they all been found in similar caves? Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. Okay. But the first one, oh, wait, right what? under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human okay. history collecting dust? So I might not be the first individual that Barrett has 
No. That doesn't make sense. Boys. So Barrett and Kazal. I think okay. I see some connections forming. Um What are your opinions on the vision that I saw? I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. That's understandable. Both you and Barrett hold saw you something. Hold you to it. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it it's feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. <sighs> See, I off the record dabbled um, in my younger years with uh, things that may elicit um, psychoactive reactions but I can say that I've never experienced anything quite like this that sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts it's all connected we're gonna get to the bottom of this we just need more data which means more artifacts I was like a scientist experimenting what brought you to constellation well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. Okay. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the Ooh. process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. Awkward. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. I was about to offer assistance in acquiring. I didn't said, lose you, did I? Oh, no. I appreciate your time, Mateo. Take care of yourself. I shall. I am enamored with this place. It is overwhelming. Hello there, and quite frankly, there is a massive amount of stuff that is way beyond my scope of capability, knowledge, and understanding. But, you know, I'm willing to learn. And at the very least, having someone with... Uh, the ability to negotiate in an aggressive manner is beneficial to any organization don't you think <laughs> <laughs>